Welcome back to Hidden Power. This is a Pokemon podcast. It is chilly out. It's getting cold. Today we're going to be discussing Generation 5 rumors. There's a lot of new information that we have. What we also want to discuss today is what the rest of Generation 9 is going to look like. My name is Dusty Gogo. With me, I've got the Lumios Post. Hello. And Soul Silver Art. What's up? I'm really excited to be back, guys. We got a lot to talk about today. I got married, actually. We, I, we don't even need to talk about this. <laughs> we gonna, I was going to bring it up if you, if you weren't going yeah, to. Yeah, last week we, we, we played like a like an old episode that was just we had never published. We took a week off. I got married, um, oh. and the seasons have changed, and it's like freezing out now. So, But I'm ready, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's so not ready. really cold here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the seasons have changed by you, but... Yeah. 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 His soul's down the equator. He doesn't yeah. have seasons. <laughs> they don't exist. Well, dude, up here in Boston, it's it's getting uh, the leaves are beautiful outside. Maybe I'll maybe I'll throw up a picture, but um, yeah. But where do you guys want to start today? Because there's been a lot of information in the last two weeks. I've been seeing a lot of you know the the one of the coolest things to me is like what kind of uh, what kind of like elements from Paldea and from from Scarlet and Violet could wound up in a possible Gen 5 game, right? Should we just reestablish? Let's do that. Let's reestablish uh, to listeners, maybe new listeners, people who haven't been keeping up with like leaks and rumors, uh, why Generation 5 remakes or a new Gen 5 game or a new Unova game is possible. Does someone want to just jump in and, and well, give us a quick it's, explanation? It's mainly because of leaks and rumors. It started with, uh, you know, of course, the big leaker on the scene, Riddler Koo. Shout out to you, Koo, if you're listening. Um, but uh, he talked about how, um, or I guess they, because it's a, it's a bunch of Koos. Um, but he talked about how there was going to be some kind of, or he teased that there was going to be some kind of Unova game, uh, cause he's hinted that Drayton, um, is going to, like, be a big spoiler for what the next yeah. game after the DLC is. Drayton is very clearly the, uh, relative, could be son, probably grandson of Drayton from, uh, Black and White. We also kind of know now it's been, like, teased that Lacey is the, uh, daughter of Clay, so that's another little Unova there. So, uh, you know, then by that, you could even make the argument that maybe Crispin is the, you know, son of Chili or something. And I love then that maybe name. Morris is related to Lenora. Crispin is a good name, isn't yeah, it? It, <laughs> it is really a good name. Like, when I said bacon, Crispin, I literally feel... thought that to my, in my, yeah. in my head. I was like, that's a good name. That's a good <laughs> name. Feel um, For sure. So is, then, is, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did get the confirmation in the Teal Mask that the Blueberry Academy is set in the Unova region. Yeah. We also do know that Briar explains in the Teal Mask that her goal is to take the terrestrial phenomenon, which at least as far as we know, only exists naturally in Paldea and Kitakami, and she wants to bring it out to mm. other regions, uh, I imagine starting with Unova. Which is yeah. cool, and honestly, just hearing you describe it like that, I got the idea of, like, if she wants to bring it to other regions, we're thinking of Unova, right? Maybe it, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it, it technically it exists in Kitakami, which is another region. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, man. I think of Unova, but what we have all these other regions. Like, could that suggest other regions? Like, maybe even like maybe we get a Gen Five game, right? We get a we get a Unova game, and that has the ecosystem and the battle mechanics and the lore of terrestrialization and whatever's in Scarlet and Violet, but then maybe there's also a Johto game, right? Maybe there's another game, yeah. right? Where, where terrestrialization well, and other those things exist. Yeah. It's kind of the Oras treatment, right? Like we, we kind of assumed that in a few like episodes earlier that we were just like, they could bring Terrastal over to whatever they're making in this generation. Because usually the, it's the generational gimmick, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, it's yes. for the entire generation. For some reason with Sword and Shield, I guess. I mean, because Legends... Sun and Moon, too. Yeah, Sun and they, Moon, yeah, Sun and, Moon and Sword and Shield, both of those gimmicks, Z-Moves and Dynamax, were both specific in lore to the regions that they were associated with. And we're Which assuming that's the same thing with Terrastal. Dynamax does seem to be based off of region but z moves you could easily put that in other regions with the same explainer the, as the thing Megas about Man, you know the thing about gen 7 is is that like our game our next game in that generation was a third version yeah basically so yeah. it's like that kind of did work still that was still part of the generation and you still are using that same gimmick does that make sense and then yeah well the in gen 8 dlc yeah exactly but then they did legends arceus you were like 
are they going to put Gigantamax in Legends Arceus? Like, mm-hmm. I had that thought. I was like, is it going to continue over? Because I remember, normally... I was thinking it... Megas. I wasn't thinking Gigantamax, but I was thinking Megas. Because, like, there was that trailer where we saw that rock that looked like Mega Gardevoir. Mm-hmm. And there's even a Gardevoir that is found under it. So, uh, and then, you know, uh, like, right at this time, the leak. they are revealing Cynthia and the anime... Or not revealing her, but Cynthia's coming back in the anime and is revealing that she has a Mega Garchomp. So, like, I was like, oh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl are gonna have Megas, and then Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl ended up being the biggest bummer Yeah, the truth life. is, a lot of games could have had Megas, right? And because it's such a limited roster, there's it feels like, okay, why did you not just put this in every game? That's the death. I think that's why people have such an outcry for Megas, right? Because it's like you just you may you just recreate those thirty Pokemon and throw them in any game. There's no yeah. excuse yeah. not to. I, I mean, even like, Z moves, it would have been something, you know. Like, yeah. it, I like that they keep it like away from us for a while because if not, they yeah. would just get old. Yeah, but and it we makes talked about this It'd be great if they like brought them back now mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah like now is a yeah, good time <laughs> it's now been two gens without z moves or megas yeah so i mean you know i mean they never need to see a z move ever should, again, and then but. well and then there's the fact that of course soul you unfortunately are uh one of the biggest people suffering from this but you have a literal form locked behind z moves and then obviously you have several forms locked behind mega evolution so it's it's kind yeah. of a shame to know. And then forms a lot behind uh, Gigantamax. So it's kind of a shame to go, oh, I love this Ultra Necrozma. It is such <laughs> a good design. And okay, well, enjoy it while it lasts because you're not seeing it after Ultra Sun yeah. Ultra Moon. <laughs> and I mean, I wonder what how much of like Scarlet and Violet's Pokemon are going to end up being like that too. I guess like Ogre Pond's masks are not coming back, you know? like that's Well, his mask would, just not the Terrestrial aspect. Right, right. That's what I mean. Sure, sure. We'll All see right. what else is like that. Well, let's maybe the terrestrial form of Terrapagos. But um Yeah, so what, think... what are we dealing with when it comes to new rumors? You guys want to jump into that? Well, I think first we should provide some clarity from one of these new rumors. Um so Ku posted uh, a little Chinese, I guess, proverb saying, I don't know what you want to call it, but basically it translates to original soup, original taste, which is a term in the Chinese community that is used to describe um uh, a BDSP. green diamond shining pearl. Uh, so a BDSP. like a practically one to one remake yeah. with little to no changes. So of course, naturally, everyone was like super upset and was like, "Oh God, no! They're giving Unova the BDSP treatment. This is horrible. All this." But then Ku posted this little thing here, and uh, I'm not sure if this is the right post because I can't read Chinese, but. Uh, basically, soul? in the post, this no. person on the little Chinese forms said that, no, 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 that's one of the games. One of them is authentic black and white, but then the other ones are paradox black and white. And so everyone was like, whoa, what? You know, very similar to how Legends was a bit more what we wanted from a Sinnoh game where it had new Pokemon, you know, new evolutions, new uh, forms, all this uh, it, it seems to imply that there's going to be a Unova game that kind of like Legends mm-hmm. has more of a, a a spin on Unova. And then also it, giving it the name Paradox, well, that makes me think it's tied into Scarlet and Violet a lot more closely with Paradox Pokemon and Terrastal. But then Ku started implying that this leaker was maybe a fake um so people were like okay so is it real or not but i thought it was interesting that i noticed yesterday at the time of recording so october 9th was when he posted that uh someone asked okay i'm confused is this real or is this fake and ku said it's a safe guess okay which seems to imply like this leaker's not legit but that very well may happen okay yeah (laughs) Yeah. is that did i do a good job soul i think so i think i mean i think at first the thing about ku with people is they never let him cook yeah (laughs) they always are like on the first one they're like what is happening what does this mean right now and i'm back in the day when i used to cover his stuff like every single thing that he posted i would wait i wasn't like as big of, of an 
an account and I would just wait and like just see what would happen and think about it more, you know, because you usually your like first knee jerk reaction is not right. And it's just so I just wait. But now that I'm a bigger account, I'm like, oh, I got to cover this quicker, you know, stupid stuff like that. But I still wait. Anyway, you let it develop a little bit and you end up finding out things like what Lumi just said. But um, the original soup, original taste is not part of this. You know, it's not the same line, like the same thread. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not. So do you think it's not even pertaining to a black and white remake? I do think that it is pertaining okay. to that. I think, rip, soul. I think the worst, bro. I think the worst. <laughs> this you has been a worst? depressing time. Yeah, this oh. has been a depressing time. <laughs> so just I, know, lay can out I just say that, like, can I just say, I don't know if you guys got messages from Hybrid Hero. Yes. But my guy was going nuts. He was going crazy, like, sending me messages. I know. I, we should have been, like, it would have been nice man. if we were, like, live streaming or, like, actually going to record last week because, yeah, yeah. He, he was messaging me. He's like, bro, I got to talk to someone. Hey, and I'm like, freaking. I'm like, dude, we got to do some episodes soon. He was freaking out because Gen 5 is his favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, there was just tons of people messaging me and and. In general, like it was hype. It was very hype. It's crazy how like a couple days can go by and you mm -hmm. feel like, oh, hmm, I wonder. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, so I mean, last time we talked about this uh, in our private chat, you were being kind of coy. Like Lumi and I were getting excited. We were like, "Let's go. We're back. Let's go. This is gonna be sick." And and you were like, I think you said, I think you said, hmm, or you said, <laughs> you said. <laughs> maybe like you like you just like we're not excited at all so I'm do you want do you not... want to lay it out for us like what your hunch is what you think the yeah, reality of I, this is actually going to be i'm really scared for scared for you know for yeah. 2024 you know like i don't know i feel like all of this is just like we just need pokemon day to happen so we can see like pokemon yeah. day could be the most epic day where we get exactly what we got um with bdsp and legends arceus like Okay, so I think the original soup, original taste is uh, like a hint to we're probably getting a Unova game that is very, very similar to the the remake, or just to regular Unova games to Black and right. White, right? Like Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl was mm -hmm. to Diamond and Pearl, and that's exactly. not necessarily a bad thing. I think a it lot is of people, <laughs> I, mean, I think a lot okay, of people are well, freaking out. Yeah, go off. Do you there's, want? There's there's the, this is our first ways talking to point. At. Yeah, there's multiple ways to look at that though. Like, yeah. okay, so if you I think, mean, and it's also like one, depends on like what you think of okay the DSP. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I didn't like uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, but that is because I have I have a DS and I have a Diamond and Pearl yeah. game, so it is literally unnecessary for me. Now, I will say I've talked about this a lot on this podcast. I don't have a Pokemon White game. Both of my Pokemon White games got the blue screen of death, and I have tried every piece of advice I have been given for it. I cannot fix them. So I will admit I'm kind of like, okay, good. you know, that's not the end of the world. My wife has never played it. She's played every Pokemon game except Black and White and Black 2 and White 2, and she's Perfect. like, I want to play it. Mm -hmm. So I get that. And then also... I mean, obviously, Ku did not seem to imply in any way that it is or isn't being made by Oka. He just seemed to imply that it's similar to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. A lot of people are just but it could be a Game be Freak made. Yeah. Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Which, you is know? that even that bad? Guys, I gotta say, it like, isn't, can, but, can we establish but that? Like, even if Oka is making it, that means Game Freak's making something else. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. <laughs> that's, the best, that's the the best part about Ooh. it. It's just like, <laughs> that's oh, good. Game Freak's making something else in the meantime. Yeah. I So. We we gotta remember, a remake is literally a remake of an old game. You go back to Fire Red Leaf Green, it's literally like no, but it wasn't always like that. Fire Red and Leaf Green had something new. They I did have to something islands. new, and we could still get that. Two Listen, gens of Pokemon. They had it's new stuff, thing. but it was literally the same exact game, right? It's the, all of the additions aren't like it's not an alternate reality. It's like the same game with the Sevi Islands, 
right? Yeah, but nothing has been like Brilliant Diamond, Shine, and Pearl. Like, it, yeah. it was just Brilliant Diamond, Shine, Pearl. Yeah, so that's it was just, one, not only that, that one but it arguably spectrum. made things worse. Like, it, it took away Pal Park uh, yeah. and put something else instead. It took away um, he's... secret bases where you could play Capture the Flag and stuff, and instead was just like, put up statues. Yeah, but, he, but he's um, not saying it's gonna be BDSP. He's just saying it's that's be literally what he's saying. <laughs> that's literally that's, he's, that, that term is used it's for Shining Pearl. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. I it doesn't look good, <laughs> Dusty. Yeah. There, I do. I do grim. have a couple things. My I still grim. I still fall on the side where I think, like you're saying, Zach. A lot of people don't have access to these older games, right? And even as someone as myself who has all of the games, I have I have multiple copies of all of these old DS games. But it's still so convenient and exciting to want to play these games on on the Switch, right? And having access to move these Pokemon to home with ease. It's, it really comes down to convenience for me. Because even though you guys haven't played those games, you could, and not that we endorse this, you could, you know, find other ways to play it, right? Online. It, yeah. yeah, right? I've never done that. Never uh, yeah, done I've that. never done I've that. I've never either. Speaking of that, does but, you got an extra copy of White, too? Yeah. Oh, bro. I know. I, I, I actually thought I was of, like... You love... Son of a gun. We want to buy a house, and I was actually thinking, I'm like, I actually I probably buy... could sell some of these and make Can I some sell? You could make, like, $500 if you, you could had multiple could. copies. I, I, I'd buy it. <laughs> Do you guys want to buy Not it? Not for that much money. Because that's, that's the thing is, I'm, I'm afraid to buy it no. from GameStop because, like, like, I know how GameStop works with, like, trade-ins. If I take my... I can take... The only reason I don't is because I'm not a dishonest person. I could take my two broken white games, and I could walk into GameStop, and they'd take them. Yeah. And then someone else would buy them, and they would now have just paid $100 plus dollars for a broken Pokemon white game. You know, and actually... I don't want to go pay uh, $100 for a broken Pokemon white I game. I actually so. don't know if you can do that, because... Th- when I used to return games, they would always try to boot them up. And if you get the blue screen, then you might not be able to sell them. It probably depends on your GameStop. That's probably yeah, yeah. what they're supposed to do. But I know the last time I took back games, um, yeah. I and in fairness, I took back, like, so I had a bunch of old Game Boy games that, like, like yeah. I was a kid and played and I wasn't playing anymore. Like, there was a game where, like, Sorry was it on it. Like I had a Cars game, yourself. a Madagascar game. But, like, I, I went like, and turned them, them all in at once. And yeah. for the record, they all did work. They all did work. Sure, sure, uh, sure. But, but uh, I'm saying they didn't check any of them. Yeah. So maybe they would if I only went in and turned in one Pokemon White game. But I feel like if you went yeah. in and mass turned in a bunch of games, probably they probably could. wouldn't. And I, have, I do have a lot of Depends on your game style. So, all right. The other thing about remakes and faithful remakes and uh, what is it called like tasty like just as you remember it remake like what original was the f- soup original, original taste. soup original yeah taste. original <laughs> soup original taste black and white remakes that is not that bad because black and white and black two and white two are both separate games and there's no definitive version for either of them right the issue with the diamond and pearl remakes other than the other than the development right other than all the bugs and right you know their choice was to make a remake of Diamond and Pearl, which is what they've always done with other remakes, right? They were never making remakes of Yellow. They weren't until Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, right? They weren't making remakes of Crystal. They weren't making remakes of Emerald. And they did not make a remake of Platinum. So that's one talking point, right, where you can say, all right, when we get the black and white remakes, it's actually going to be an, a good remake because it's going to be the exact base game, right? And and I think actually... and then. The, the, the other reason why I fall on the side of like, let me pay for a port or a glorified port, right? Give me these games again for convenience. The other reason is like, uh, like, no, I, I guess it's like, it's like, it's in Game Freak's best. It's like, um, I, f- I don't know. It's like, if we're going to get a, bl- a sequel game, that's like a third version or black three, white three or paradox, you know, whatever, they're going to have to also like kind of, prime the audience to understand the context of the Unova region, right? If we actually want a game... I don't think game, they do. I think they do. I think it if, depends on the story. If it is a black three and white three, yes. But if if it is a sequel to Scarlet and Violet that is set in the Unova region, yeah. if it's picking up where Blueberry or Indigo Disc sure. leaves us, and it just happens to be set in the Unova region, they don't really have to. Sure, they don't. But if they're going to give us remakes... Then, like, what do you want Game Freak to spend three years developing, a, like, an actual remake for Black and White and Black and White 2? To me, 
Honestly, that feels like a missed opportunity in a world post Legends Arceus. Like, I want Game Freak to be making something new, which is what you're describing, and that's great. And if we also have the option for another development company to, like, reboot or, you know, t same taste, same soup, right? If, if they're going to give us a faithful remake, great. I'll have the option to buy it, and I will buy it. Yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I don't think I it's a bad diamond shining pearl. If I'm, Game I'm Freak's not working it. on it, I'm good. If okay. Game Freak's not, if Game Freak's working on an actual new game, great. Okay, but it it's it, there's a lot to say because with what you're saying, Lumi especially, you're like you hate Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl because you already played the games, right? But now you're if you haven't played it, you're like, oh, I'm ready to to like actually play this. So it is kind of like depends on the person kind of situation. Yeah, it totally depends on the person. Because I, I was the same. I hadn't played Diamond and Pearl in years, and I enjoyed BDSP. But I, oh. I still was like, this is here's the thing. That if BDSP was the only game, and it was the only game that year technically, but if it was the only I'm game coming scared. out with it, it would just be the worst. Can you yeah. imagine that th that's all we get for like... If Legends Arceus like didn't over... exist, we would be rioting, right? Legends yeah. Arceus actually, actually revived my faith in Game Freak, right? Not, I mean, listen, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back them forever. They've given me so many great memories. I'm mm -hmm. like, my life would not be the same without that, like, without Game Freak, right? Without Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. But, but like, they were, they were really on a publicity downward, like, like cycle, right? After the national decks, right? After all these, what's the national decks? What happened there? Um, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but here, here's the thing: is we're in the same Let's place right now. It. We're 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 almost worse because it's just we're been not worse. A negative, yeah, but it has been like a negative trend through throughout Game Freak, basically in a lot of ways. Um, like just imagine the controversies that are around Game Freak right now. Like all I hear is like hate stuff. And mm -hmm. then, and then all they do next year is just give us like a, a faithful remake of Gen Five that does Gen Five no justice. And then who knows what's next? Like, what if they don't do any other kind of Unova game after that? And it's just I mean, dude, then that, that was that your would Gen be Five remake. That would be bad. And here's the thing: this could go either way. This is a piece of evidence. It could it could support or go against what we're saying, right? Black and white is one of the worst performing Pokemon games of like all time. Or, sorry, one of the worst like selling. Pokemon games, brand new mm -hmm. games, right? I think it actually might be the worst. Mm -hmm. It is. So you yeah. could either say, oh, that means the nostalgia, there's less nostalgia out there, which means people won't, you know, buy it as much. Or mm -hmm. it could mean this is actually a brand new game and justifies a remake more than anything, right? I mean, for for me, like, I would buy it because I haven't played Black and White in a very long time. I'm going to buy it regardless. It's a new Pokemon I game. I barely remember it. I have this it's idea. It's not Detective Pikachu. No, no. I, I have this that. idea that they're never going to do. But imagine if they bundled, like, just a remake of Black and White and Black and White 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would love I would love to have a faithful remake Bro, of both. Bro, oh, of them. dude. That would be cool. Wait, no, so, so when you say bundled, you mean, do, that. do you mean two separate games on the same cartridge? Or are you saying this? I don't care. How are you saying it's like almost it? like... Bro, imagine if it's like you go through... It's the story of Black and White, and you go through the whole thing, and then the, the post-game... I guess you really you couldn't do that. I was gonna say like maybe the post game is no, like have to be like you all the black two white two stuff. Yeah, or like the you region. Yeah, I guess that's kind of tough. yeah. But either way, I think, I think that's the big issue with I mean all remakes for the record in in general. Like that's one thing that's always disappointed me with every remake, uh, with the exception of Fire Red Leaf Green and um, Heart Gold Soul Silver, because those were those remade you know red and blue and gold and silver right but it, they didn't remake yellow and crystal with those games because really yellow and crystal weren't that different but with um with oris it took ruby and sapphire and it left out the things that emerald had added that made those games even better uh the battle frontier and yeah. then with brand diamond shining pearl same thing it same took thing. diamond and pearl and didn't, didn't add I'm gonna, any no, of the platinum I'm gonna things push that back. made it better. Specifically I mean, no, with that's, Omega that's Ruby trend, Alpha really. Sapphire, they gave us all. They, uh, they, I think they gave us more of a story for Rayquaza than we ever had before. Right? 
I'm not talking about story. I'm talking about features. Dude, Omega Ruby at Alpha the end Sapphire. Of the day, that is why Pokemon Bro, you could players fly. don't play Pokemon for story. You could Pokemon fly players over play the region. They had all the Mirage Islands. There was so much right, post-game. But I'm talking Ruby about I'm not saying it didn't have good features, but none of those features were in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I'm saying sure. why would okay. you take all the features from Ruby and Sapphire and none of the features from Emerald? Yeah. Right. They and then with Burn Diamond Shiny Pearl, all the features from Diamond and Pearl, none of the features from uh platinum I, I and think it, now i will say with the black and white remakes they kind of get a pass yeah because black 2 and white 2 is not a like third yeah. version of those games it's not an alternate telling of that story it is a sequel so i do not expect them to do that and i i it, it would honestly kind of I, not make a lot of sense i if think they, did they that. don't i do, do that. not expect them to do it either i'm just suggesting yeah. that that would be fun like that it would, would be, be fun cool it would be little idea dream come true yeah yeah i to think just that that would satisfy some fans if that was the only thing they announced, I feel like. Give me a world just, tournament. Yeah, Dude, if they just the world announced, tournament would be incredible. Yeah, well, so they so they remake white, they remake the base right. games because those are the ones that have sold the best, right? If you compare it to like let's say you sell, you know, 100 copies of Red, Blue and Yellow, there's like that's a bad example. If there's if you sell 100 copies of Diamond and Pearl, Platinum is like what? It's like an extra four it's like it's like 40, right? Yeah, like but that's the ultimately, the the third versions are like the is the definitive version. version. Yeah, yeah, they're like the perfected version. So like that's the one that you really want. I think that they do that though as well, so that they could maybe remake them in the future as well. Because like, you know, like they they redid yellow. You know, it's like yeah. it's interesting because maybe redo the other yeah. ones once they get to yeah. That I, point. I, and again, I'm not saying remake platinum, remake emerald, but I'm saying if you're going to remake ruby and sapphire, why not? Also, don't remake the story of Emerald. Remake the story of Ruby and Sapphire, yeah. but take but include, the features that Emerald yeah. added to make those games even better. You know what I mean? That's it feels true. like two steps forward, one step back. I was or also one step say, forward, two steps back. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was also going to say, like, they probably also remake the base games because that's a pair of games, right? Which allows you to then, excuse me, which allows you to then sell the remakes as a pair of games. Like, Legends yeah. Arceus was like a standalone game for some reason. They could have easily made that a pair, and they could have. <laughs> and they're really, honestly, it's like I'm just trying to give them like I'm, I'm I'm thinking of reasons for maybe why they wouldn't have done all this, but I guess they really can change. They could remake Emerald and then make it Emerald One and Emerald Two, or like, you know, what I'm saying like like Emerald. Oh, dude, they could have made they could have made the remakes Emerald or Delta Emerald and whatever the other term is and then pair it with pla <laughs> uh, pla pair it with like deoxys yeah i would love to see the numbers for legends rcs if it was uh split into two version Dude, what yeah. those sales would look like i would no, love they must to see be accounting for that man i don't know if it would be that different I, Listen, see i, I thought i think that too so but then like i will see a lot of the times like in youtube comments on videos that people will say like Oh yeah, I use this in Scarlet, but I use this when I played through Violet. It's, which shows that like there are a lot of people that even though Scarlet and Violet's like the same story oh, with yeah. just you know a few different Pokemon stuff, they people do buy the alternate versions. And in a lot, there are some significant ways where the game is different. Like right now, if I'm playing my Scarlet version, I never finished Violet, right? When I'm going to Area Zero, they're all past Paradox. Right, I don't currently have a game. I do have the game. I have to like play it and finish it. But like that's pretty significant. Where like one of the main areas of the game that you're gonna spend the most of the time in in the post game only has one set of Pokemon, which gives the vibe, like which gives the whole area a specific vibe. Or it, or or honestly, it's really just comes down to the clothing options, right? Running around the region as like a horribly dressed orange man. <laughs> yeah, Violet one there. Yeah, Violet. But one. I. I don't know. I was going to ask you guys, do you guys buy to both versions? I don't. I I went through I a stopped. period where I was like, I'm going to not even buy the first versions that come out and just buy third versions because I was just wow. like, I don't, I want no. the perfected version. And wait a year. Yeah, I couldn't I used, wait that long. No, yeah. Well, when, when I was younger and I didn't care as much, I was like, all yeah. right, I don't, I'm just going to wait. Cause I don't, this isn't even the best version that's going to happen. Like, yeah. and, they don't and that's have probably the why they stopped that doing that. Right. Yeah. I, I just, I would never spend, 60 70 more dollars yeah to get Guys, a different clothing option honestly i don't think i'm gonna buy gen 10 i'm just gonna wait for the remake because that's gonna be the definitive version right <laughs> yeah. Ob obviously now that this yeah. is pokemon is like what i do yeah it's different but 
Well, that's why I was I... just like a normal consumer. That's kind of how I felt at a, at a point. So, yeah. you know, last know. year, because we were so involved with the, with the, like the hype cycle and, and you know, I'm like, I'm going to buy both versions and I'm going to play them both. And they're both expenses. Was this the first time you did that though? I know growing up, it would be like, I'd buy, I get like a, let's think. Yeah. Ruby version. I got on launch and then I think for Christmas I got Sapphire in like a player's guide and then like eventually I got Emerald on launch. There's some, yeah, I, I think when you're younger you don't always have the money but like you just kind of amass it over time, right? Like once I got a yeah. job I was like, I'm just going to start buying all these copies and there was a period before the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, actually it was, I think it was during the pandemic when I started making videos. I was like, I'm like, everyone's buying cards, but I'm going to buy, I'm spending my money on these old classic games because these are the ones like I didn't have growing up. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I've never if, done it. <laughs> in never. the comments, if you buy both versions, let us know why you do. I'm curious yeah. as to why. You know, I'm not questioning you. I ain't over here, you know, hating on you, but I want to know why. Because I, I do I wonder, also... so when you said $60 for new clothes, I was like, surely that's not the reason. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I want to know the reason. reason. That's not the reason, but, you know. I, I think it I'm also definitely comes down to, some like... some of you guys side eye, that's all. I'm just like... I do get it with, like... So some games have it have differences more than others, you know? Like, like Sword and Shield, you, you take on different gems, you know? So yeah. I can kind of understand that one a little bit more. I could see how that would feel... A little bit more like playing a different game but like with games so like to me you know it, yeah it, it is minimal for sure but I, it's I definitely it's also, more than like diamond and pearl so every yeah. time you play a pokemon game right it, you're gonna you're going to be creating an entirely unique pokemon team even if the pokemon are the same right the nicknames the memories the sequence of events right even the ivs and whatever the evs are all going to be different and so i think inherently Pokemon encourages replayability, but it also encourages you to like save your file. And I think up until the Nintendo Switch, there was a huge incentive to like if you want to replay the game, buy another version, right? And because mm -hmm. it's another version, it like even though the game isn't really that much different, it actually warrants you to be like, yeah, I guess I could buy the other version I don't have, even though you have the same game, right? So, I yeah. think all of that kind of compounds it there's not always that same excuse now because with the Switch, you can just create a new profile and play it right there. So that's a little bit mm. different. If you're enjoying this episode, please consider supporting Hidden Power on Patreon or YouTube channel members. Right now, we have four tiers and the lowest membership starts at just $5 a month. Supporters get access to our secret Discord server and help control the direction of the podcast. Supporters also get access to our archive of bonus episodes. Okay, so our Discord honestly is popping. We have other creators in there too, which is yeah. kind of fun. It ain't just the three of us. We're discussing leaks when they drop. We talk about news. We'll be talking about how Soul silver art has you know just garbage takes it's so it's much a fun. place for us to connect i'm in there every day also we have revamped our merch store so proud of every product that is in this store now we have stickers t-shirts mugs ball caps right the dad caps these ball caps are embroidered look at this it's literally an embroidered so clean you cannot get anything more high quality than that i just got news do y'all hear that solbasaur says that he even <laughs> has his own merch i'll talk for him it's beautiful very cool designs you guys should very check it out. japanese style e even the front of the shirt has a unique logo i'm getting one for sure if you're invested in this show invest in the show thank you so much for watching and now back to the video um, I, i'm excited just, for black and white remakes even if they're dude even yeah. if they're by bdsp this is the other point i think i think if it is ilka they've got two three more years to figure out what the heck they're creating right and they can hopefully fix a lot of those yeah things, right? yeah i mean is, my, I mean, my big issue is like they've been managing home since 2019 2020 something like that yeah and they still, it is still a buggy mess. Um, yeah, that, so that's I just don't have a lot of faith in Ilka's quality control. I don't think Game Freak does either. Yeah, the, it could be, that's true. We could be dealing with a whole new company. And I I guess, I don't really know how this works. But I mean, like, we can talk about that. Like, how does that feel? Like, what if it's just like a Namkai Ben, ben good. Bando Nam? 
And Dude, if, that, if, would, if it, that would be actually insane. <laughs> insane right now. Could, could would they, it, though? Could I mean, they, they would just be really good graphics yeah. <laughs> on, on Gen 5. Right, games. but, but I think cool. that's something that I look forward to. Like, honestly, I think that's why Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was such a big letdown to me. I hate is the I, so much. I, well, and not it's even not that. Chibis, it's not even art, because man. of the chibi. Like but the for me, it's like, I get, like, it was so cool to see Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire today. Because, obviously you know the the 3ds style whether you like that art style or not it's a lot newer and more modern than the game boy style so it was cool to see like this is the home region look that's that's uh this city but yeah. it looks so different now it looks so much more vibrant and stuff i was yeah. so excited to see that with seno and it was literally like one to one yeah and they yeah. could have made it i mean a million people have said this right so I, I am excited better. to see Unova yeah. in I'm, new I'm, graphics. I'm with Dusty on this one. I I will admit it. Like it's not just the chibis. It is like if it could be like that Zelda game, it would have been really. Or beautiful. like any quirky Nintendo like game, that. right? It like, was an ugly yeah. chibi. Like yeah. like when they make when they make Yoshi made of yarn or Mario's made of paper, right? Yeah. Like it, it can. Like why does it not look that polished and beautiful? That would be iconic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could literally um, make it the weirdest thing in the world. It doesn't need to be just chibi, like, and they're not gonna make it weird like that. Like the whole point of making Yoshi yarn is to like make people go, "Oh, this is a new experience," you know? I don't know. So to steer back a little bit to uh, the rumors with this, so I think I think we're all three on board that we are getting, uh, you know, at least to some extent, original soup, original taste remakes of black and white. I mean, but. Uh, are we, with that. Do we think Chinese we are community. also? Do we think we are also getting a to use the term that's being thrown around paradox Black, black and White? Black well, and white. I was gonna say I was definitely gonna segue into that Let's eventually. I just what wanted to, I wanted to get our all our thoughts out on uh, like what if it was just that you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which I think we did. So it really all comes down to like what Pokemon Day is gonna be like. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, that runtime when they announced the runtime two days before, that's gonna be key. Yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's three scenarios to be honest. It's I mean, there's five multiple. Minutes but fifty three seconds. Yeah, there's there's like multiple scenarios. Like, do we get one where it just says that's all we're getting this year of BDSP Gen five, or we get that and then they announce like a Legends Gen five after that? I two. Which so, would be epic. I would think it would be like like uh, the BDSP Legends situation where one will be dropping in 2024 and the other one will be dropping like early 2025. So like right. it is it is within the year if you count a year as February 27th to February 27th because that is what Pokemon's are we, year. So what, when are we mm -hmm. predicting? I mean, I think I think this is also a big a, a big factor, right? Are we expecting a brand new Pokemon generation to be in 2025 or 2026? That's, that's where it gets complicated, right? It gets right? super that's complicated. Because the only because reason then... why it could be 2026 and it could be a four-year wait period is because we just like the idea of it syncing up with the 30th anniversary. But truthfully, they don't need to do that, right? The no, 30th anniversary could literally be At the end of the day, like, it would actually be financially smarter to just to put it go ahead and stick with what they do because it being the 30-year anniversary is not really going to boost sales yeah. that much. And also, the no. whole they can sell the whole game because it's like if they if they release it holiday 2025 in two months of 2026 so they'll have the new game out right to push it's really, the 30th anniversary but okay so yeah so it's, my, a, it's a perplexing situation because it's like yeah what do they do yeah we we should think that it wouldn't be 2026 we should think that they're going to follow the pattern they've always done basically you know and be like okay we're going to do gen 10 in 2025 but it's just mm -hmm. I, with everything that's going on and the 30th anniversary, we're not going to you know, know I mean? until at least after Pokemon Day. So that's not true. Then. That's not true because look, yeah, we've be been hearing about on. Unova remake since June. If Gen 10, this is kind of a wild thought. If yeah. Gen 10 is 2025, we might hear about it next summer. Yeah, I mean they, they're definitely working on it already. Oh my god! Like oh yeah, yeah. They're definitely working on Gen Ten already. Like yeah, they're, they're working on it right now. If it's coming out 20, 25, 20, 26, even mm -hmm. if they're it's coming out in twenty twenty seven, they're they're working on it. One hundred percent. That's exciting. Anyway, before before we move on, the third option on Pokemon Day is that they only tell us that there's black and white remakes coming, faithful remakes, and they don't tell us that there's a Legends game or something or whatever like the that equivalent coming. Is. 
but it is still coming but they just don't tell us they don't announce it yeah and i for, see like, the entire like half year and then like, throughout the half of the year they eventually yeah. announce it yeah that's a really good point that would so, be a hard just, six months man yeah, they put us through the pain like pain <laughs> well, going off of that what's very oh. possible right because we're talking about like oh we'll get a remake and then we'll get a new game but I think it's also very possible that they they do the same rollout as the Gen 4 rollout, but instead of getting that new game in January, we get the Black 2, White 2 remake in January, right? So it's it's Black and White remake in holiday, and then Black 2, White 2 a couple months later. And then, and then there's that long period, right? You know, that'd be cool if black and white remakes were done by a third-party company, whether that's Ilka or something. Then two months later, Black 2 and White 2 come out, but they're not original, super original tastes to Black 2 and White 2. They instead now have Paradox and Terrestrial Incorporated. And so it's like set, you could set it where like black and white on the timeline, black and white happens, Indigo Disc happens, Black three white, or Black 2 and White 2 happens, yeah. you know? This retelling of Black 2 and White 2, rather. Interesting. I mean, it would yeah. still feel like a letdown compared to Legends Arceus. I guess that would also make sense, though, because then they have a foundation to be... It's like it, you get both best of both worlds, right? They might still be like in a testing phase where they're like, all right, well, we have an opportunity to make two different style of actual remakes, right? Let's test this again. Do they do well? Um, and then if you do have the brand new game be a Black 2, White 2 game then, yeah, you can incorporate, uh, right, you can incorporate all of these elements from from uh, from Paldea in the DLC, but you can also build upon it because it's the end of the story that we knew, right? So then the post-game becomes kind of like Black 3, right? White 3. I just think that in Pokemon's next year, and again, we're saying a year is February 27th, 2024 to February 27th, 2025. Yes. I feel like in that year... There has to be something, and when I say has to be, obviously there doesn't have to be. Yeah, but I'm no, saying I feel do, like gap it should. Know. Right. Uh, I feel like it should have YouTube. some kind of new Pokemon in it because that's been a big seller since Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is them it, it putting in these games mid generation yeah. that have new Pokemon. You know, like the reveal of Blacephalon and Stakataka and Poipol and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, Meltan and Let's Go, uh, you know, DLC bringing in new Pokemon. Legends Arceus giving us evolutions yeah. to Ursaring and Stantler, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, here's another thing we didn't even mention. There is a value to remaking these to faithfully remaking or, or glorify or porting or whatever. There there is a point and a value in doing this for these older games, and that's that we get access to Pokemon that were previously really difficult to get in BDSP and all of the other games, right? We saw, you know, and it's now easier to get Deoxys. It's now easier to get Manaphy, right? Every time you play BDSP now, you can get a Manaphy egg, right? And what's there's yeah, that's not one. true. That was a mystery gift that ran through February. If you didn't get it, it's gone. Uh oh. The Manaphy one isn't, now isn't there another one you can get? Ar I guess now you, you can Legends. you can and and Legends Arceus you can get Manaphy, oh, yes. uh, and then if you have saved data for Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Sword and Shield, you can get Dark Rind Shaman, and then obviously you can get Arceus and Legends Arceus, and then you can get Arceus and Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl if you have saved data from Legends Arceus. Yeah. But I think the Dark Rind key or pass, whatever it was. The Shaman letter and the Manaphy egg. I know the all Manaphy for BDSB, egg, but I think those yeah, were yeah, all BDSB. yeah for Brain yeah, Diamond yeah. Shiny Pearl. Pretty sure all of those were events that have already run their course, and if you didn't get them, you're not getting them. Yeah, that's a little sleazy. I think from Game Freak's perspective, it's classic. It's classic yeah, it, from their perspective, they still made the sale because, or they're able to make all these sales because of that inclusion, right? They usually add new Pokemon to incentivize a purchase, right? So yeah, yeah, maybe it doesn't have the same longevity. But, but also, the game is like relevant. dead right now. The game's oh, yeah. dead. Like BDSP is done. I don't know if you guys saw like a few months back. Oh, it was at Worlds. Like all the Americans or whoever were going over to Japan, and they they saw like BDSP for sale in the stores, and they oh, were like wow. literally equating to like seven or eight dollars. Oh my god! Like That's you can awful. buy a Japanese version of of Brilliant Diamond and it, for like eight dollars in Japan. That's insane. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like dead, and this kind of segues into what Ku was saying, right? We want to talk about like what he said. Yeah, he said that it was break breaking. It was a real leak, and he kept 
saying it too. He's like, this is true. This is real. Um, instantly, I'm like, he always trolls this person on the Chinese social media. He even has it in his like pinned to his Twitter. Yeah. Thing. Um, that's why. Well, I- he said this was a new one. He said this was. Yeah, that it is. Person. It's not the same person. It's not the same person. I don't think. Um, but that's why underneath like his original tweet of this, I put a Reshiram and I was like, this is the perfect, <laughs> this is the perfect response, isn't it? Because people would think like, oh, this is black and white remakes or, or whatever. And yeah, I was so confused by that because then he commented, my God, you're mean. And I was like, what, what did, what did Soul say? <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, this person is like this Reshiram, but he hates that Reshiram person. The, the white chicken dragon person. Is this person, yeah. Right? Yeah. He, he's that that's like his central of china of chinese uh social media mm. um in fact he so, compares them to centro in his pen tweet this yeah is, this is puppy no this is white this is chicken this Some, is chicken this which is chicken i think it's yeah. below puppy and it is hierarchy below puppy. Of i want nicknames like it i hope can, maybe he'll give us nicknames like that he might i he hope would not us, he would give us nice nicknames yeah good. Like I'll, i want to be i want to be chipmunk i want to be a dragon <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's bad and good in chinese uh language i feel like a chipmunk can't be good yeah i don't know maybe i don't even know if they have there's it's a lot rodent, of raccoons so... in the back oh there's a bob i saw a bobcat in the yard this morning dude, nice. cool. dude bobcat would that's be cool. cool yo cool call me yeah, that bobcat. would be pretty cool that'd be pretty cool <laughs> i all i know is the whole chicken thing is like an actual insult in in chinese the puppy okay. thing is like it's just his puppy. That's that just him being is, like degrading. Yeah. yeah. It's like it, he's his master kind of thing, whatever. Um, anyway, going back to this. Dude, the, so the instantly, lore of the leakers is, it just grows. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It grows, dude. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if we this were a lore. rated R podcast, I would love to get into the lore. But unfortunately, <laughs> we try to keep it family and we can't repeat some of the things. No, that absolutely said. not. <laughs> dude, my heart skips a beat every time. So was, can you read that right there? <laughs> I go, like, no i can't okay <laughs> i don't want to read this <laughs> that's funny um I, so anyway when i first saw it i'm like i'm being cautious i'm not like i know about this white chicken guy and i'm like no i'm not gonna just like do this because actually one time me and ku got into it of one of our first interactions i posted something like any dummy would and was like this is a hint a leak you know, and he was like, "This you don't even know what you're talking about. This is this guy, and whatever." That's how it all started. Yeah, in the end, the and now they're best friends. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, th- so I was cautious about this because I'm always like, "Okay, it's all in Chinese." If Ku wants to tell us something, he usually doesn't just do just a whole Chinese book about it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. He he changes as well. So I was cautious. But at the same time, he just kept saying it's true, it's true, it's true. So I'm like, hmm, I'm, I'm wondering. And I got people messaging me like I, crazy. I loved how he was even going, Sintra, why aren't you, or he was calling him puppy, but he was like, why aren't you posting this? Post yeah. it, it's real. And that made me go like, is it? You know? <laughs> so it's, it's very cheeky, the whole thing. I think that it, it's a joke. I think the beginning it was always a joke it's to like kind of mock this person i think because this person has claimed to be a leaker the uncle is a leaker basically so they're claiming to be one i don't know it's not the white chicken guy so i think who is being he's like testing this person that's what i think Interesting. my interpretation of it was that he does not know he did not he did not at first know if it was a real leak did some digging found out it was fake called them out for it and all but the interesting thing to me was that someone said um you know uh wait so is it real or not and ku said aka safe guesses so it's interesting to me that he says that saying that there will be an authentic black and white and a paradox black and white is a safe guess yeah so that's that's where we move Which on. Which I feel like gives some hope. Yeah, no, that's where we move on because in that all of our discussion of talking about if they're going to make faithful Unova remakes, you're like, that can't be it. That will not satisfy. The fandom will go nuts because they'd rather just be like, just don't give us any game, probably. They'd be like, don't give us any game at all and just 
go to the next year and give us a Legends. No, give us Unova. a game, dude. Honestly, I bought into it. Honestly, Johto would have been great, but the I and I keep going back to this, and I don't even know if I'm describing it right, but like Johto's nice, Johto's comfy, Johto's cozy, right? But we just got two years of Sinnoh, which is Jap, which is Japan. Sinnoh, uh, Johto would be more of that. But Unova just feels like this massive region as big as Paldea, right? And we're so used to getting one massive region per generation and then a remake or whatever, whatever right? DLC. Mm-hmm. But Unova, a Unova re- remake that's like a Game Freak game that's modern, that's open world, whatever. It doesn't even need to be open world. But like if it's just a big region, that is so exciting to think that that could exist in Gen 9. I, I love I that so much. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think that that is just enough for for that for that year. I don't think. Is, I think man. if they just if they just drop like, okay, we're just gonna give you a BD, BDSP Unova game on Pokemon Day, and that's it. I I think people are really upset. I don't think oh, that yeah. it's a good thing. Really, um, but I'm talking about. And like, I think that I think they they know that. And I'm I think talking that, about Paradox Unova, a Paradox Unova. Whatever. No, I'm that not looks even like. there yet. Okay. I'm talking about this part, and then. They know that that's not Look enough. So, my God, it's easy to guess. It's easy to to assume that they would do the same kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what Ku is saying there. Yeah. It's like it's a simple guess to be like, okay, this very well could happen because we know if they do a a BDSP Unova remake, it's not going to go over well. So they got to do something else, and they know that too. They know that that's not enough. They knew that BDSP wasn't enough. That's yeah. why they released Legends with it. They're like, this is not enough. Or they, or if they could have, they would have probably just put that well, one so out. So if they if they know it's not enough, then surely they're not going to actually just rely on it, right? Exactly. That's my point. Exactly. That's my point. Exactly. And that's basically what Ku is saying too. Is like if they are doing that, which apparently I think he knows that they are doing that, then it's a good guess. It's an easy guess to say that they're probably going to do something else with it to like make it better. You know what yeah, I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they're going to release something else, Unova. Or I'd even go as far to say that they could do like a Legends Johto after that. It doesn't have to be a Unova game after that. But, but then, no, the that, question, that's my own, the that's question my own thought. The question still remains where it's like, what the heck are we going to do with Black 2, White 2? And that's where I really feel like what we could get. I don't think that that's as big of a hurdle as as what you're saying. I think they don't have to just forget whole... about it. They no, really do not have to recap me? it for us at all. Like they, Mm-mm. people played it back in the day, and that's it. Like if you want to play it again, go do something. To play There'll it again. probably be something where if that's you go to so the plasma sick. lab with the Genesec drives, you can get a DNA splicer, and yeah, that'll and be it, as much black two and white two as we'll get in it. Like they can recap some things that. The, in a what about line how? of text, we're not gonna get how. In a line of text, they can name? just be like Hugh. No, it's, his name is Hugh. Hugh. I was gonna yeah. say not, probably not. not. I mean, why is Hugh matter? Hugh How Hop. Man. Yeah. No. I mean, he's fine, he's, but you he know, is, I mean, he's we have, not. I want to rescue. I feel like Chorus is more important to see than Hugh. Dude, that I guess you're right. I mean, that's pretty disappointing to think that they would just bypass the game because the game almost the story doesn't even feel complete. Get back? They they bypass. Right? Looker was an original black and white. Do we get Looker back finally, bro? That's kind of crazy. To think they bypass gonna... platinum. Like platinum was not in BDS. Yeah, but platinum and not in is diamond and pearl. Platinum is the same story with an ad- with an addition. Right, not ri- not. It is, yeah. It yeah, literally is. Addition. I mean, it, it is, but you know, I do think that it's still an illustration of of what they'll do. They will ignore not that at ignore least for that. a long time, and will just. There might be oh. some stuff that carries over for it, just like you can still get the Gracius Orb and the Don't Origin you know Form you. Giratina. You can still get that in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So I'm sure you will still be able to get. Uh, the resolute form Keldeo, and yeah, you will yeah, still yeah, be yeah. able to get the um. Which with that, you just need to teach it to move, anyways. Oh. And you will still be able to get the DNA splicer so that you can merge uh, Kurum and Zekrom or Reshiram. But oh, I I bet there won't be much else. Maybe they'll do something terrible to us again and have like someone at the cold storage say yeah, this place was like... just bought they're building a world yeah. tournament and we'll never get it uh... um, <laughs> even like the whole like maybe they'll do something terrible is like part of my expectations yeah <laughs> it's not a maybe to me <laughs> yeah. i am not like i always take it game freak is like what's a good analogy but it's like you get something that you want and you get something that you don't, don't want, want at the yeah. same time that's usually it's 
always that way. It's, it's always, always that, that way. way. Yeah. We yeah. Have, I don't think there's ever been a perfect Pokemon game. No, not yet. Legends. Not really. That was close. But Legends wasn't even because you can't battle your friends. That's true. Yeah, yeah I'd right? say close. Yeah, That's yeah. like, what? Just add that in. Yep, they always take if something for away, the bugs or and they performance leave something issues, out. I would argue Scarlet and Violet would be it. Scarlet and Violet is a lot of fun, but uh, but there's bugs. No, I, I like, it agree. does need something to do in the like it needs a bow tower or something. But mm-hmm. that's like, yeah, but I mean, you could, yeah, I don't know. I yeah, dude. I mean, I'm, I am re- imagining the reality now where they just bypass it. I would really hope though, um, that even if listen, we can get an exact game that's black and white. It's the exact same game. And then just like they added the underground, let's say, in BDSP, right? Like, let's not forget that. Ooh. BDSP does have the underground, right? Ooh. Dude, <laughs> it, it's a pretty big region. There's way more to do I there. There's new biomes. There's Pokemon you can capture. I think I that opens know. the door for a possibility where we get a black and white remake. It's just, it is what it is. But in post-game, you can access the whole, uh, you know, like southwestern part of those new air, those areas that were introduced in black two, white two. Maybe you can nah, access some of those the other post places. game is just going to be the Eastern part. I'll you're, tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why they did add a lot of stuff. Hitting the grotters. Reason- BDSP didn't add it much from Platinum, though. I, I'm not I saying didn't say from Platinum. I'm saying it added things. I right, think there's this a is, This is from Black 2 and White 2. I think that they are going to leave that mm-hmm. in the dirt. Anything they have will be a new concept. The, I, I will say, no, guys, I, I, I want to put back the Hidden Grottos. They could add the Hidden They grottos. could, but... Here's, but, Wait, before you go on, here's the main reason, all right? Yeah. The main reason is money, bro. Yeah. They are not going to... Put two games you together that they could sell. They could sell one and sell the other. Like it's not doesn't make sense. But, we're gonna but you're saying they're gonna bypass sell it. The same. You're saying they're not gonna sell Black Two. I, I think they're gonna bypass it completely if they. If I they, think then that why would they just add a couple little game. Little things? And that it's not that hard any, to do. Like it's any not hard Paradox to add those areas. game, whether it's Black Three, White Three, Paradox Unova, whatever it is, if they do that, I think that will have Black Two and White Two stuff in it, just like how. Yeah, uh, Legends Arceus had mm-hmm. a lot of well, Heart Gold Soul Platinum Silver characters. actually revamped and made it actually like fixed what was not that great in Kanto. Like Kanto, you know what's crazy? Is, Kanto was a lesser version, and they actually made it real Kanto. Actually, right? Heart Gold Soul Silver is kind of the perfect Pokemon game. Uh, it is, uh, but it's not. Kind of, yeah, it's not because you go back and play it back, and it's so slow. Yeah, but here's the nah, thing. Nah, that's a we thing of modern never, gaming, though. Yeah. It was yeah, perfect we for never going to get a perfect, like, there's someone's always going to pl- complain about something. I'm yeah, talking right. about, like, I think them black, taking out I think black features. black 2 and white 2 are, like, perfect games. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about them, like, removing features and, and all that jazz. Yeah. Not, like, little things yeah, that Yeah, I'm actually getting, like, per- angry and defensive at the thought of them bypassing black 2 and white 2 completely. Like, well, yeah, just think about it. Just they think about it. what there's no my I think it's very likely. Like think about what they've done in the past. We're talking about Oras. Just like Lumi laid it out a few minutes ago. Like they did nothing basically from Emerald. They put a new thing in there. No, Same so but BDSP. you say that, but they added so much to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. They added so much. I but know again, they added it, not but it's not, from it's not gonna be Yeah, it's not gonna be black and white too. It's gonna be some new thing that it's they added. It's a part of the region though. It's not like a story. They might it. it's Dusty, story. they it's might a, in this game allow you to ride around on a braviary, but you ain't getting your black two white two features. <laughs> exactly. I would, I would like to fly around on Braviary. <laughs> anyway, um, that's you, you can do that in Legends uh, Arceus. So it's a perfect game. <laughs> so we're thinking yeah. it's gonna be black. We're going to get just a basic remake, black and white. It does make sense. It's like, how the heck are you going to sell black it's two, white two? black and bright You give us white. black and white, and then they give us Paradox Unova, or whatever it's going to be called. I would do, never do we want to speculate on the games real quick? Like, what are the names? Pitch yeah, I, black I, I, and bright white. People uh, like that. Well, yeah, probably that's probably a good one. But that's that's about it. That's isn't all I it, want isn't it like Blazing truth, black truth and, and lightning white. Yeah, truth. All, this, is, this is the last thing I'll say about this. Just give me some, just one single thing that's new. Just give me one. I think they new, will. You got that in form. BDSP. Give me the original dragon. Just that's it. Just like nope. no, up. they're dude. They're not giving. Nope. That, no, <laughs> they're not going to give you that <laughs> in BD the BDSP type game, right? No, I it'll just be Paradox something. Unova if they give you that. I can't. Bro. So, um, so I mean, <laughs> just like how we all speculated origin forms for Palkia and Dialga. Yeah, and well, I mean that's that's Pearl, what they should have done. They went. Nope, and gave it to him in Legends Arceus. If yeah. we get an original dragon, it's it will not be game. an original, super original taste. But we might yeah, not even. Right. 
Like, uh, yeah, right. I was rewatching yeah, yeah. a Loxton video explaining the like that tri- like the trio, right? Kiram, Reshram, Zekrom, and he was explaining how like the actual depiction of it it had three heads. Like the actual depiction of the original dragon that was split into three in real life, not the Pokemon original dragon, but like the dragon that it's based on, had three heads. And then I'm like, well, this is sick. And then I was like, does this tie into all it this went. other stuff that Ku has been hinting with the triple heads? Do we want to get into that? I think that's a Diplin hint, a Diplin evolution hint. Yeah, well, it could. All- who's to say it can't be both? <laughs> who's to say? <laughs> you think it has who, eight heads? Who's, Do you think the original dragon has eight heads? It's a high how, dragon. How uh, far did paradox. he go? How far did he go? That's the question with all of them. You know, he went to I, seven. I really like the um, the thirteen screws one. Yeah, that was yeah. good. It's genius because. I went and I looked at Sandy Shocks and yeah, it literally exactly has 13 yep. screws. Yeah. It's pretty smart. That yeah. was my favorite one. 13 but screws. Yeah. I was proud of the community. We got those pretty quickly. I yeah. mean, it's, it's pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. But I mean, yeah, but normally, like, it, I love, see, Ku, keep at these hints where I can figure them out. Yeah, I, I like it when it's I like, do not what's... like the hints when you're like, Seven, and it's like, what does seven mean? And then we end up finding out that, like, if you use hexadecimal well, there's two, there's on Mars on, on the number seven, then you'll actually find a small rock in front of you. Turn over that rock, and there's a key. Now, if you the fly to go the opposite to side of the galaxy, <laughs> I like those. Yep, but no, it, I'm not like saying those. that. The, I'm not saying that the riddles were easy. It's just that because they're they're um, building up the heads, basically, it's easy to be like, okay. You don't even have to figure out this riddle. It's like, oh, it's going to be another head, basically. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's why it's more simple. And but you're like, saying for listeners who don't, who right, you're saying Diplin is going to get an evolution which has multiple with eight heads. heads. Eight heads. Is I mean, we're thinking? he eight never heads. said it. He never said. He never it said Diplin. it was Diplin. Just no, people like, are what assuming are we, it's related yeah. to it. What What else could it be? That's the question. It could like, be, dude. It could be Kiram. It could be the original Kira, dragon. Just the original Jesse. dragon. With Can you head. tell me who your copium guy is? <laughs> it's, uh, it's hybrid. Like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hybrid. Hybrid is hype on this. He is. We gotta get him on lot. again. Yeah, I mean, he'd be like, "Dude, Kiram has seven heads or whatever." Because yeah. it wasn't eight. <laughs> he it was starts yelling. Seven. I yeah. did the math, oh, man. <laughs> it's it's highly unlikely that Ku probably knows something about like a Kiram. Or original dragon having that many heads. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can we see don't even know this what early. We don't even know a game is coming out yet. You know what I'm Especially saying? Especially like, if yeah. this is hypothetically a game coming out in January 2025, yeah. you have to think that, like, Ku probably knows that there is a Paradox Unova game or a Legends Unova game. And that is the extent of his knowledge on it right now. I mean, hey, he'll I mean, obviously the get original more, dragon no, would no, be a something. big deal. So maybe somebody would be like, "And the original dragon's there, and it has seven heads." Yeah, but also like there have been many times where like I mean, we know there's always hints to future games in the current game, but there's also a lot of poke. I've seen a lot of threads where they say like they'll introduce a Pokemon that almost identically resembles or hints to a future Pokemon. Right? If the last Pokemon we get revealed to us. Uh, is is this Diplin evolution, and it's got three heads or whatever, right? That could be a direct hint to the next game, which is going to be the, the Unova games, right? That's that is always a possibility. Maybe it's a hint to there being eight Unova games. What? Good black Lord. and no white, way, black, dude. Two, black white, black two, white two. Oh Why is my! This authentic black, authentic right. white, <laughs> paradox black, paradox white. Boom. Wait, what about what about Pokemon we Gray? Can fit- all of America in there. That would work. <laughs> oh man! Uh, yeah, I, all yeah, all of America. It could be New York yeah. and Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Um. Uh, yeah. I loved that it was like for a while people had like the the tri attack. Is that the attack? Yeah. Tri-attack. It was like some yeah, tri tri-attack. beam or something. Yeah, yeah, tri-attack. yeah. That was working for a while, and I was like, oh mm-hmm. wow, that's cool. Yeah. Like, that would be a really cool. What, what is I this? Think, like after four. They, heads at first, something. people thought that it was Pokemon that can learn Tri Attack because oh. Dino can, Doduo can. Yeah, it's all these Pokemon evolutions at least, and I then Wugtrio the can. Yeah, but uh, Sandy Shocks can, Probo Pass can. I think it died at Phalanx. Okay, yeah. but isn't that crazy though? That was a 
a long <laughs> a long <laughs> list. A, yeah. Yeah. And but the tri attack think... listen, the tri attack is the original dragon. It's ice, fire, electric. No, it is. That's what they were saying. That's why oh, they, okay, people okay. were thinking Kiram because yeah. I think Kiram can learn it. I think Kiram can learn it too. And that's yeah. why people were like, oh, it's Kiram for sure. That's so cool. Um, mm -hmm. We thought uh, that, that, Tri Attack was one of the names I thought would be dude, cool for the For the podcast. record, the fact that Kiram can that learn Tri Attack, original Dragon Three Heads. Bro, the original Dragon Bro, I just heads said is, that. It makes so much sense, though. It mm -hmm. does. It does. But we are. Like I know you said that the original dragon had three heads. <laughs> I, know, I was no. saying. I was saying. I'm adding to it by yeah, saying yeah, yeah, it learns yeah. tri attack. No, yeah. I'm, I'm and I'm. I'm like ironically being mad at that. <laughs> Apparently, uh, we're talking about seven heads here, though. So yes. I think it's safe to say it's probably. I think it's eight because he counted. And we're two currently seven, in. So it's like seven. Eight, then nine. the eighth one is. You know what I mean? What do you? What do you, When are you saying that? When I missed that? Maybe. When are you what? talking about? When he, did he, say he went up to seven. Right. So Diplin will be eight. Oh, I see what you mean. And like, if we're counting up, Barbarical is seven. So I mean, but Diplin, Diplin, Diplin has Diplin two evolution. in it already, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think I think that Joker's going to be a big old Diplin tree with a bunch of heads. Yeah. All right. So, all right. If we do, <laughs> let's do some theory crafting. If we do see another... so. We get that we get the Ilka game, it's it's black and white, and then we get a Game Freak game, and it's actually inventive, it's imaginative. Maybe it's the Gen Nine engine, maybe it's a new story, right? Lumi put the idea, he put the worm in my head that it it could be, you know, if there's thir if if <laughs> thirteen years have passed, funny thing to say with that <laughs> since Black Two and White Two came out, like if that then maybe the game takes place twelve years after or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that, but all I'm saying is. Well, what do you think the game could be? What do you think? The, I don't know what the, the game. What I, do you think I the really game don't know what the game could be. I don't think that it'll be a paradox Unova. Like that's just a fan made thing. Yeah, like, yeah. That's not. That just means a new a Unova game. A new game. It might not be a Legends either. Like it. It doesn't have to be a Legends. I don't think it will I'm be expecting a it to be something completely different. I'm expecting. Yeah, we we've talked about this multiple times. I feel like it it doesn't have to be either of those yeah. things. It could be a black and white three. That's like a whole new story. Kind but of like, thing. what are things in Unova that we need answers to, right? What are things, I think it, what are opportunities? It, the, I mean, we can go back to what we started with is that Terrastol is probably in it. That would yeah. be fun. And like, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. we get some kind of more Terrastol states, you know, because the whole Terraforms are basically now we can almost say that they are the things that Ogre Pond has, like the masks. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And it requires you know, like, a key item. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, is really similar to Mega Evolution. I mean, you know, he it gets is. a new ability. The only difference is, like, no stat buff, which it, it gets, like, a stat increase, but that's from its ability. So. Yeah. Right. But it gets a new ability, too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So if they put that on normal Pokemon, that'd be really cool, and we have to still have to see if that happens in the Indigo disc, or if there's just, like, a whole other thing with, like, the 19th Terra-type. Yeah. Um, and there was... So, I mean, they could... They could pull all that over into this game, which would be really cool. Yeah. I don't know if we ever talked about it on the podcast, but there was that uh, someone on Twitter found uh, in, in the NAC, I think it's called the Nacreen Museum. Museum. There was like actually this like terrestrialization colored crystal. That's actually in Drifail City. I know Is what it? you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know about that whole thing. I mean, that, that's just like. That, no, that's just a fun. That, it's a fun it's a coincidence fun that they could retcon. retcon. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that makes more sense. That's like there's no way that they actually thought about it. No, no, yeah, no, no. It's just <laughs> a was, that was like ten years ago. But I maybe said, more. But I think something that is way more striking to me is the gem feature in uh, black and white. These were things that I thought were like so stupid, and oh, and always I feel like they were like the precursor for Z moves. Like what these are is when when let's say your Cyndaquil or your Tepig right holds a fire mm -hmm. gem, it when it goes to use Ember, it gets a what does it get like a double a boost, a, yeah, a, a, a times two a, attack boost on that one Ember, and then the the item is like consumed, uh, to, because and so there's a there's a gem for every single type. Right. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's kind of crazy. There's even a fairy gem. That's really interesting. Yeah, they add that in X and Y, but then they got rid of them for Z moves. Yeah, but um, that's kind of interesting because to me that really that these look no different than the Terra shards, right? I mean, they're obviously like little diamonds, but I don't know. What do you guys think about this? They do look different though. They are pentagons. They do look different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're pentagons. They're pentagon shape. Mm -hmm. Does that really matter though? 
It does when everything about Scarlet and Violet has been hexagons. Okay. I don't know. I think I think this is kind of cool for this to be like a only Unova thing. I mean, like primarily a Unova thing. I feel like this is pretty significant. Um, I mean, it'd be cool if they did retcon it into something. Yeah. Like the be it'd be great. I think that I don't know. People are probably thinking like they could do something like Oras, where it's like they made a new universe where Mega Evolution existed. But I think yeah. that this could just be like a continuation of Scarlet and Violet, like Lumi was saying. Yeah, but I think also. Oh, now Terrastal's in the Unova region, like, 15 okay. years later. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. after everything. I like that. That's, That's cool. cool. I mean, you can also yeah. think of... I don't know. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. I like the whole idea of moving all of that, that whole gimmick. Because Terrastal's, like, a really good gimmick. Competitive and everything. Like, it, it should be here for a while, yeah. I think. It was but, It was also fun. Like, it was, yeah. it was just cool to see, like, in Oris how the story... You know, we keep saying it was a remake of Ruby and Sapphire's story, but honestly, it was so different because of Mega Evolution, them tying things like Rayquaza and its ability to Mega Evolve into it, um, yeah. you know, and even just cool things like the Elite Four using Megas against you and uh, all that. That was, I mean, it, it did add a lot, uh, in my opinion. And then, of course, they kind of gave like an answer to that to Kyogre and Groudon and Primal Reversion. I yeah. like the idea of these, what are they called, the Hidden Grottos? The, this yeah. could be where, let's pull them up right here. So these are like areas that were like hidden all over the region. Um, and yeah. Originally, their main purpose was for you to like find some rare items and then also it was find for hidden ability mons. Yeah, to find to find Pokemon encounters that have hidden abilities. Um, and I think this could be, I think this could be what do you call it, like a retcon or almost like transformed in a in a gen in a Gen Nine, uh, Unova game where those are where you find terrestrialization dens or terra dens right like how those are scattered or all even over. like the wild terra pokemon like yeah how you can, yeah like, in Kami, uh terra water uh totally. poultry guy yeah but you know how there's like those dens all over the region and they're just like randomly placed like i think it'd be way cooler if they were like tucked away in part of the actual region right mm -hmm. um that's just something i'm thinking about right now let's see yeah. what kind of pokemon you can find and then i i, I think... really think that that's the more likely scenario is like the whole like black white three with like all kinds of updated yeah not like it wouldn't be the same game no it'd be all. a different story yeah. it would only be what's... black white three in the sense that it, it is set after black two it's and white two sequel. though like i don't think it would continue yeah. the stories of black white black two and white two no like, no no like i think it would be more so honestly like a more appropriate title would be scarlet two and violet two but they wouldn't see call that's it what's that cool because it. it's not set in Paldea. But I think mm -hmm. that's like that's kind of what we're looking at, right? Like in a world where there's DLC, yeah, give the base game DLC. It lives for two years plus, right? But then when you introduce the new game, right, that becomes the new hub, right? And it allows us to like, oh, that's so cool to just continue the story in a way that we really that haven't seen awesome. since like that Gen awesome. Six, right? That's the thing with this whole whole rumor mill, let's say. <laughs> Because we don't know if we can trust this person that Ku was calling out, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing we kind of know is that we're getting original, super original taste. That's disappointing. Yeah. But this on the that horizon. That means we get Pokestar it, Studios. Yeah. No. This Pokestar on the horizon, Studios was great. The musicals were crap, though. Yeah, the musicals. Yeah. That's what I'm, And that's, that's what we're going to get. We're not getting Pokestar Studios. Yeah. Or the World With Tournament. This, yeah. I don't know. With this on the horizon, it makes it better, though, doesn't it? Like, if you were to, like, potentially think that, okay, we're getting that remake, and then this comes out a few months later, I'm like, this is Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm in. Like, it's it's the positive yeah. side of it all, because I don't want to just focus on that we might just get original, super original taste, and that's it. Um, that would be such a blow Do you think, for Game um... Freak and for us. So, this could, this is, makes sense. It's logical, right? Yeah. I don't know. So I want to kind of explore some of the Pokemon, right? Some of the characters that we could see the return or where they would end up. Because ideally, you know, if we return to Unova, it's either going to be the exact same story with the exact same characters, or it's going to be there's going to be an advancement, right? And it feel it's starting mm -hmm. to feel like if this person's right, that it is going to be an advancement. It's going to feel like Johto was to Kanto, where there's a continuation of the story and the characters, right? It's going to feel like Black mm -hmm. Two White Two, so. First off, I mean, just while I'm looking at these, do you do we think that we could possibly get uh, 
maybe like either new a new set of starters, kind of like we saw in Legends mm-hmm. Arceus. That was wildly wildly popular. Um, you think for the the paradox? I'm talking thing? about yeah for the paradox game. I'm kind of. I think for that yeah I yeah. think that they would definitely do something with the starters. There's no yeah. doubt, and like, they could they, give us they the would, same starters, but maybe new evolutions. Yeah, they would follow I, the same kind of thing as Legends, even if it's not a Legends game. You know what I mean? Like I, we get new Pokemon, maybe at least we get new kinds of forms of something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what about the starters? You know what? This is my. Should I even say this? <laughs> say it. I'm gonna tweet this out one day. In the future, in the far future, probably because right. I, I plan ahead. But anyway, um, I would like, and this is crazy. This is a crazy idea. It's not going to happen. But maybe they do it on a small scale. I would like if it's like Unova was the first game that like did a soft reboot of Pokemon. Yes. How crazy would it be if we get like regional fakes or lookalikes, whatever, for like? Oh, that's cool. The entire Dex would be amazing. But I'm saying like imagine they did it for the starters so like yeah, mm-hmm. you get these starters they're nor or maybe you get like a whole <laughs> brand new line of these starters yeah and they're, they're actually like only lookalikes of the starters that you, you get got or even all the Ivy, ones nepig and and Ish- yeah. ishawat <laughs> yeah or maybe of the kanto ones but i don't know i i, oh, I would ones. love if it was these guys yeah and, because they're yeah, actually- just I don't know if I I don't know if I think they'd do that though, just because Oshawa just got, you know, the Hisui and Samurai. No, that doesn't mean anything. I don't I was thinking about that too. I don't think it means anything. I I know that, but I'm saying it it would be like treatment to that that line. But they do that with other Pokemon too, right? I know everything's they do everything's been thrown out with Scarlet and Violet, you know, like we do four Gen eight Pokemon. Like, yeah, like you are Luna. right. I hear what you're saying, Lumi. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, well, that means Oshawa yeah, like, gets two regional forms, R- right? Right. It'd just be a little, well, and it'd be a little boring to me too, because like, uh, like to me, it would be more exciting if Totodile, a different water star, got something. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Then I'm like, Ooh, which we could see you know? that. We could see that. Listen, this the whole idea is boring to me, actually, though, because I don't really like regional fakes. But I'm just saying that it would yeah. make sense that it, it, uh, because they rebooted gen 5 basically like these were all gen 1 pokemon yeah. copies mm-hmm. you know what i mean so it's like should we make copies of the copies kind of thing yeah. like it's kind of it's kind of a fun idea i don't know if game freak ever thought of it but so like in, i think and so in black 2 white 2 they do a similar thing to what they do in legends where it's like we start we start the game in in unova from an area that's kind of tucked away off the coast right you kind of you take a boat after like two gyms you take a boat to mainline uh, Unova, and if we start, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we start in because we know the Blueberry Academy is in Unova. Maybe we start in Un- uh, the Blueberry Academy, or maybe we start this new game uh, north of the, of the region or something. It just somewhere outside of the the regular area, right? And whoever is our professor, whoever's in that role, could really just be like, these are the three starters I have, and they're a different set of starters. And as they grow in Unova, they evolve differently. It's literally a pretty easy thing to implement, I think. Story you know, wise. Blueberry Academy would be a good place to do that because literally all the starters are found there. Dude, so like yo. they could just be like, you know, well, these are the ones we have on hand right now. It's a uh, Bulbasaur, yeah. a Torchic, and a Totodile, or whatever. You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And then, I mean, because that's the thing. The only reason why they evolve differently is because they're evolving in Hisui. It's not like a special item or anything, mm-hmm. right? It's not like there's no plot device. All it is is these starters grow up in a new region, right? So I love that so much, man. I love it. They that would so have much. to do something that logically made them change, too. So, like, I yeah. mean, I could still see it being like, oh, you get these three random starters but you can use their terrestrial form you know once mm-hmm. they get to their final evolution like something sure like that. yeah yeah because now terrace then they get an in, item in yeah now terrace is in uh unova so you can get that for all three of them at the end you could also you could also say they evolve differently in unova and just the reason they don't in the blueberry academy is because the blueberry academy has an artificial environment mm-hmm. yeah true. that's true that's true, true, true. I mean, I like it the could same be, reason it you're would not, not be able find to find wild be, Alolan nine tails there, you know. Right, right. It would not be able to be any of the Unova starters, clearly. Yeah, no, but, no. It'd have to be, you know. I don't uh, think it'd be the Kanto starters. I think it'd be cool if it was Totodile. No, like random. It'd be random. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it'd so be. They, they it would did. be like a mix grab, like it was with Legends. Mm-hmm. I, I would say Gen three because we don't have that representation. I hope it's Torchic. Trico would be cool, and then Gen four is off the table. 
And then we Gen 5's off the table because that was in Le- Legends. I wouldn't say Gen 4 is off the table. I wouldn't say Gen 4 is off the table no. either. I mean, think about it. When Legends came out, they used Rallet, which done. had just come out a few games ago. You yeah, know? that's true. I'm just done with I'm just done with Sinnoh right now. I know, now. but they didn't get anything this Sinnoh started. Yeah, it's I mean, true. I hate, I hate them. So but. Gen 3, Gen 4, and <laughs> then Gen person. 8. You know what, though? If Sinnoh starters got something special, like maybe it would make them better. So yeah. I'm down. They don't need what, anything. As long as it's, as long as it's not the is. monkey. What Pokemon do you think? I, what, I don't what's, think they can make it better. What starter do you think needs a bump? Like a bump? I think Meganium. Or Alligator. Meganium. We need a new Meganium. <laughs> For Alligator. Alligator's got sh- Sheer Force. He's good. He's got Sheer Force and uh, Dragon Dance. He's fine. To be honest, Snivy and Tepic really need something. They do. Yeah. But, but uh, um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, Just pick like your personal favorite. I was... I, no, Chespin we're not picking Finnegan. favorites. We're picking our, our least favorites to like fix that's them. That's true. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Chespin or Finnegan, like, from a competitive standpoint, could use some, especially when you think about how Greninja got Ash Greninja and all, yeah. and they yeah. kind of were like, Chespin, Finnegan, y'all just sit there. But that doesn't exist anymore, so he is back to being and with them. No, but he does still have a special ability, you know, yeah, like, uh, that's not his hidden ability. And then also, even with his hidden ability, you know, at the time, they gave him Proteum, which, like, no other Pokemon had except, sure. I think, like, Ekleon got it for its hidden ability, but, like, <laughs> yeah. it was insanely broken, and they're like, uh, Delphox, you can have Magician and Chestnut. Uh, here's Bulletproof. Bulletproof, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. But they're like, but Greninja, my you son. You Protean. You will have Protean. <laughs> I mean, the same thing happened with uh, Libero. Two signature moves. Isn't it called Libero? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, Libero, and, yeah. and M- Miascarados is uh, yeah, exactly. Protean. Yeah, yeah, but see, like now it's an established ability, so it doesn't... It wasn't as much playing favorites Bro, as it was back then. Give you know? Meganium. Yeah. Give Meganium Protean. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would yeah, pick. Yeah. I would pick I'd pick Meganium as the grass starter from Johto. I would pick um I would pick Mudkip from Gen 3. And then you would need something Fennekin. a little bit more allergy. Uh, uh, yeah. Fennekin. Yeah. I think I think that Fennekin. Gen 3 That's actually... good too, because that's a reptile, a fish, and a um yeah. uh I think uh mammal. Yeah. I think Gen 3 would actually be the the starters that they wouldn't pick like Why? that's one of, they're the, because they they have so megas good. already no because they have the megas already dude that I doesn't matter that, that doesn't matter i don't think i do think i think yeah i mean you say of other starters to pick out of that you say that anything. but like i mean decidueye got his you know he had just come out and yeah. he had a z move you know exclusive z move so z i move mean don't count <laughs> they they I don't I think but, i mean right it is now. i'm just saying he had already just gotten some special treatment yeah. And they didn't mind using them again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it's no. been a while since Megas. And what's the point in saying you can't have one because you have a Mega when you can't Megas even aren't use even Megas. a thing? Yeah. Right. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm just saying it's. Feels yeah. Less no, I, I get what you're saying. Me. Yeah. They, I got you. They got treatment, right? Mm-hmm. But the. Yeah. So that would be cool. I, I Yeah. That'd be really cool, man. And then what about. um, What about all these, like, characters we got going on, right? We got. We got the. Fir- with the it was kind of cool that they gave us. Well, three. some of them are parents now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, let's say this game is ten years in the future. So, Salon, Cil- Cil- Chili, Cress, dude. I just want to see the Gator X video where like they all glow up and then Gator analyzes their like their fits and their designs. <laughs> like, um, yeah, these the kids, the brothers would get older. Lenora, she's she's I don't know how old she's supposed to be. She's a mom. Is she gives me mom energy. She. Yeah. Some people speculate she might be Amaris's mother. Oh, I don't think okay. that all of them have to be children of someone. I, I don't. No, think I'm not so saying either. that either. I'm not saying that. With either. the revelation that they're in Unova, they're just from Unova. That's right. The thing. Like they are from yeah. there. And that's I would why imagine they're children of them. I mean, but they're... that said, like Crispin especially, he looks so Bro. similar to Chili. He's got the chef thing going on, and Chili and Silent, and, and they uh, have Chris done that a lot. Run a restaurant, Pokemon. you know. I was just thinking, like maybe he's like another little brother that you never knew of, or like sure. he's just related to them somehow. But maybe not like their chi- his. Would be a children. cool twist is if he's like actually Silent or Cress's kid, but he like he just yeah. loves his uncle, you know. What, so yeah, he's not actually if... Chili's. What That's if true. he's just like an understudy of of them? Like he he studied yeah. chef dumb yeah. under them. Chef dumb. <laughs> so I think I think chef I couldn't dumb. think of the word, so I made it up. <laughs> so I think culinary uh, would that be right? Culinary. That's right. I think Clay is going to retire, and he's no longer going to be the CEO. Maybe his daughter whatever. takes over. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think Bryson 
Bryson feels like someone who would still be practicing. He is a little bit older, but he's like takes care of his body. I could see him being like still there as a as a late game mentor. He's gonna even no, better team. I thought Drayden I thought steps he down had semi retired. I thought Bryson had retired or semi retired. Oh, and that's why Drayden because he's an actor. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So so he's out. So Bryson's out. Skyla. She's still around. She's, she's still, still around. Yeah, she's still around. Elisa probably is. Elisa has gone to Paldea to. She's a YouTuber now with, <laughs> with uh, Iona. Now she was a model, not a YouTuber. She she'd be hanging with Tulip before she'd be hanging with. That's Iona. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Berg, I never. I don't like him. Who does really? Yeah, Berg, I, love, Berg. I love how you were talking about what they could be now. Like, you're like <laughs> this person could do this. This person, Berg. I hate that guy. What is he? He's an, <laughs> he's an artist, right? Berg's an artist. He should step yeah. down. We should get a. He we should. should you should, really hate Berg. I don't hate him. What I'm do just you like have against Berg. Oh, I, I just realized he has a leave Annie. I'm, he so, should I'm sorry. Step down. I'm sorry, Lumi. I forgot he had a leave Annie. You said he should step down. He should step down. I think uh, Lenora's cool. I think <laughs> Berg should be fired. Dusty's trying to cancel Berg for some reason. Dude, the biggest thing. What are they gonna? What are they gonna do with uh? What. A black we did we've bypassed this. We like the uh, the simi monkeys, the elemental monkeys are coming back. Oh, uh, just get rid of Why them. Why would just, you buy, just well, say they're extinct? Bypass that. Just say they're extinct. But they're coming and, back. You know, they're not here anymore. Which reminds me, we gotta do a Gen 5 tier list ASAP. Oh, we were yeah. supposed to do that this week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're man. basically doing a character one right now. I know. I say I, for the for the league. I say Binga is now the champion. It would be cool be that cool. Iris took it from Alder and then his grandson took it from her. That'd, That'd be, be cool. Neat. Yeah. I, I, but I I want Iris to Iris should be like um like Alder. Iris should be like the old champion. She's not old. She's like older now. She'll probably be like She's like the key 30. to like uniting the dragons and yeah. getting the original dragon cuz she's a dragon Do You see her is throughout Drayden the region? like dead or is he in a wheelchair or what? No, Drayden, Drayden he's just the mayor. He's still chilling. He found the yeah. fountain of youth. He, he actually is younger than Drayden now. <laughs> yeah, he has a he has like a cane. He's yeah. just like walking around. He has a cane that he uses to beat his enemies. But with. does he is he going to have a longer beard? Yeah. yeah. I feel like he's, he's going to be like as well type. kept. Yeah. That's kind of cool. He retires. He's no, but not he's all there. He's a mayor, though. <laughs> I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, Skyla will have a cool new look, and it'll reflect like a different somewhere that she's traveled to recently. But Bianca's then, the professor. I was going to say, yeah, Bianca's the professor. Charon, you're saying, is Charon the champion? No, no, no. That's Bingo. No, no, no. That was being a Charon. Charon could be like just... Elite Four. You know what? Grimsley, it said in Sun and Moon that Grimsley retired from the Elite Four, so we need an Elite Four member. Okay. Is Jared being says? Elite Four would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. And he's a normal Grimsley's type. He's not even there anymore. He's traveling. Yeah. And then Roxy is not even going to be in the game because we're not going to have access to that region, right? That's what you guys told me. Well, we said yeah. Paradox Unova. Paradox Unova, I think okay. we could. I love Roxy. She probably is one of my favorite gym leaders. Sure. No comment? Ooh. Okay, great. Hey, Berg. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's cool. Sure like, thing. like, I love that Elisa got, a, like, a new makeover, right? She's got, like, a new mm -hmm. outfit, which makes sense oh, with yeah, the she's character. way better. Way better. Yeah. Oh, we got Marlin, too, dude. I feel like Marlin... See, okay, this Okay, this is a thing that we didn't even talk about, but Black 2 and White 2, I forgot, has new gyms. Not people stepping down and mm -hmm. stepping up, but it has new gyms, which would say, which would suggest... If it's an open world game, we would actually have the opportunity to pick which gyms we go to, right? That's actually the open world uh, Pokemon game that we'd be looking for. I feel like they'd find a way to, to not ruin do it. That, yeah, they'd probably. find a way to go. No, these are your eight. You're going to maybe you can do them in any order, but like these are your eight. You, you can't. And then maybe the other ones are just like just post game opportunities, like because then you could hypothetically take on two water, two normal. You know, four of my badges could come from a water gym leader. Yeah, but they could change a water gym leader, a normal gym leader, and a normal gym leader. No, but it's it. Yeah, I, I do see what you're saying, but I think... Just Sharon, Lenora, Cress, and... Uh, yeah, no, no, but like in lore, right, what happens is if a new trainer takes over a gym, the the type of like gym it is can also change, right? Like when, when Blue became the head of uh, Viridian City, it's no longer a ground-type gym, right? It's it's just like whatever Blue, whatever Pokemon he has. So that that's a, that's a, that's a situation, too. Um... 
I think Marlon's really cool. Where, so where's the Elite Four? Um, oh, dude, but the Dream World, too. Do you think the Dream World would come back? That has to match with Pokemon Sleep. It yeah, wouldn't the dream, come back the in the world. way that it was, for sure. Okay. The Dream World is an interesting thing because it would connect back to Scarlet and Violet as well. Yeah, so that's true. It would be... It depends how Scarlet and Violet ends, but... I like guess. Yeah. If it's in the original super original taste games because it wasn't black and white then uh maybe maybe ilka would incorporate into home since that's like also one of their projects cool. i'm assuming it's being made by ilka i hope it's not but i am assuming that is um i wouldn't, I wouldn't assume that i don't uh, know i wouldn't the giant I tree think that, i don't think that they trust ilka that much anymore so, they shouldn't <laughs> uh, yeah it wasn't well well received, so I still, dude. We do not often talk about how much I appreciate the fact that Ilka made a game that was not compatible with one of their games. Yeah, exactly. There's too many shenanigans going on there. Interesting. I, I think I also like playing a new game like this, even if it was mostly Gen Five Pokemon. Like those Pokemon are. Pokemon now, right? They're not brand new. It's not going to be that whiplash that a lot of players had not having access to, like, you know, legacy Pokemon. Gen 5 Pokemon are legacy yeah. Pokemon now, which is kind of nice. Dusty, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. You're going through all these characters, you miss the most important thing. Ingo and Emmett. Oh, that's true. There's a story there. Yeah. Got to touch like, on that. One of them won't be there, probably. One of them will not be there. Hmm. So what's the other one doing? He no longer running the subway? Is he too? He's depressed probably still to do there that? though. Yeah, he's he's, probably... he's around, but like I'd think like if if you, if I ran a company with my brother and then my brother mysteriously disappeared, yeah, I don't know if I you know like I that's going to be the excuse to, put yourself to get rid in that of the place. They just shut down the like they shut down the subway. He's like I actually hated trains. Ingo was all over them. I like <laughs> <Yeah>. horses. He <laughs> runs a ranch now. <laughs> no, I think it'd be cool. Is that Velocity like, like, Ranch? It'd be cool if they did like a quest where you're like trying to find him or like what happened to him. That's cool. The like next Pokemon Ranch game really is cool. going to be Emmett, and he's going to be like, people always ask me, "What's it like with your brother being gone?" And I always say, "Thank God, because now <laughs> I get to run this these wide open fields, <laughs> wide open horses." All right, but also with this I, map, like, I want to like just like there's a river right here, and there's a river right here. Like and from here there can, York, yes. there can be an air there can be an arrow that goes up, arrow goes up, arrow goes Going up. up to you. There's so much stuff up there, right? <laughs> New Hampshire. Yeah, well I guess New Hampshire would actually be New Hampshire would be over here. Yeah. And then upstate so if this is if this is Manhattan, right? Like it'd be pretty far up. The whole state Very of hard. New York is over here. Like this right. is all New York over here. And then you got the border of Canada. And then you got New Hampshire, or you got Massachusetts. Uh, I guess it's Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. It's like all over here, which I don't think we're gonna go to any of that. Yeah, but I think it. Up. But like, no, <laughs> we're going to New Hampshire or, or Massachusetts. I always forget where you're at. Yeah. And there's gonna be this one trainer that has like a go go, and when you talk to him, he's going to go the Gen Ten starters, and then list a bunch of emojis. <laughs> or he's gonna be. Like, he'll, he'll be like, I went to, I went to. I went to Portugal and I saw this Pokemon. It looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. <laughs> that I actually makes perfect sense because I just went. To I don't think I literally Paltrow. just went to Paldea too. I went to yeah. Portugal, so that makes sense. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much more you guys want to talk about this, but there's like I a, do have one more. Th I do have one more yeah. point. To say, we haven't even is... talked about Diplin, also. I, guess I mean, we did a little bit. We that's pretty much it. the extent of Diplin. I don't yeah, know I mean, that's kind of it. <laughs> I don't know if Ku had any other riddles going on other than that. That was really it. He did one last night that I don't really know what. Oh, it yeah, the thing with Pucciana. Yeah, I got I think we'll cover about, that when we know what it is. Yeah, I think it's about Dokutaro, but I don't know. Yeah. Because um, the pink or whatever. But the last thing I wanted to say was, after all this <clears> lovely <throat> speculation, you do have to wrestle with the thought that maybe you know like what if blueberry academy is like the unova stuff <laughs> yeah because to me when i when i first saw like oh blueberry academy is in unova it, it i knew about it early before that but then when it, it actually hit me i was like wait this feels like it makes it less likely that unova's like 
the next thing that we're going to go to because we're <gasps> going there right now. No, but that feels know. like a hint. That feels like because you're not going to it. You're going to a place that's located in Unova. You know, that's they're like... acknowledging it. They're acknowledging right. its its existence, and then you got to say for what for players who don't know what Unova is to learn about Unova. That's a, that becomes a hint, right? Kind of like what well, kind of what Kitakami is, right? You didn't just... even go to any Unova that you've been to before. You're going to a school in the middle of the ocean that is technically. By legal definition, yeah. in Unova's borders, which it you're right, Unova. Soul. It could really just be like an acknowledgement that of a of a larger region, which is something that we ask for in Pokemon games, right? We want games that yeah. reference other parts of the universe, so we know that this is a continuous, uh, you know, story and a and a bigger. It's just world. weird to be going there and then be going there again after that, and it's weird that Pokemon are like so blatant. If that's the case, like, yeah, oh, go, hey, you're in Unova. Doing. But no, like, but the fact that they're Pokemon so blatant. Day, this is what you're doing. No, we're going to Unova. Again. Kitakami is a new place, and we can speculate offline, right? Where is this located, right? They make references to Hisui, right? But to be so blatant about it, this is in Unova, right? They, it's like, it's like they want us to know, right? I think they want mm-hmm. us to know about Do- Doku Ta- Doki Taro or whatever, right? They want mm-hmm. us to know about that because it's like they gave us an image and you can't see what it is. But if you look in the source, the source code, then you see an image where there's more information there, right? Right. Going to the things source like Diplin, you use yeah. an Evia light on it. It works. They want us to talk about this stuff. I don't mm-hmm. see, I don't know why they would make, put it. I mean, I guess, yeah, they could put it in Unova to just be like, oh, by the way, it's in Unova, but that's it. But that's the first thing they say as soon as you download the DLC. Right. I'm just thinking there's there's like another aspect to all of this, which I was going to bring up earlier when we were talking about like logistics of it all. But just like another thing is that apparently there's going to be a new Nintendo system coming out at the same time. as I like think all this lines this up happening. with that. Yeah, I'm just wondering like what if they do uh, like Gen 10 in 2025 and they just do like a Unova game next year and yeah. then that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I, what if they actually just move on? They just stick to their normal schedule and they just do, like, boom, boom. Yeah. That's not the end of the world, to be honest. It's um, not. And I, honestly, we're coming off of a, a brand new generation. It's not like, you know, like... We don't need we, this. We had, we had the high. You know what I mean? And yeah. now we're going... We're doing the dip. And then we're going to go up back to the new generation we're high the again. Lin. Yeah. It's not... I, it. I feel like we, we might be a little too spoiled as Pokemon fans to be like, you know... We need, like, the best game to come out now or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, what if they're already just really thinking about Gen 10 a lot instead of all of what we're thinking about? Yeah. I don't know. It's a complicated web. <laughs> it's, to um, me. yeah, I don't know. For me, I'm just, like, they don't have to do any of this. All these remakes, they don't have to do any of this. Like, we wanted Johto because it felt right for the it to be the next remake. And then we have someone out here... You know, who is talking about Unova? So you make a good point. It could just be in reference to Blueberry Academy, but then everything that he's telling us about. Nah, but that has bit about saying Blueberry Academy. Drayton holds the key to, to the, the next, next game, game after, right? Like, and and it's true. He sus. he could hold the game. He could hold the key to a, a game that's maybe Generation Ten, right? I don't know. I just wouldn't take those words so like so literally. That's all. I don't, I think that that was just like a hint to like okay he's a hint to the next game, but so that I mean there's got to be something happening this next year. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, because it's like if it's Unopia. not listen if it's it, oh, I'm a swore if we get a random Johto game like what like what have we been talking about all year, right? Like, it wouldn't be that random though. It's really not random. It, it wouldn't be that. That would make sense. That's what we the coo- anticipated. Without the coup leaks, we'd be like, it should be Johto. Like yeah. all of us right. would be like, it should be Johto. Right. Because well, then that's only now after uh, Watchama Jibby being in Unova Blueberry Academy will we start going. Um, you know, yeah. ooh, what could it be Unova? But like, I mean, we were thinking Johto for a while because, like, we you know the the pattern indicates uh, Johto. The um, you know, the fact that we got a lot of Johto love from um, uh, Hisui, and then now, uh, whatever these games are, Scarlet and Violet. I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. Uh, but then also like a lot of the paradoxes that they focused on, like the Titan paradoxes, were of yeah. a Johto Pokemon. You know, 
yes, you we have the Unova paradoxes, Nova but we have the Johto paradoxes. You know, we the uh, Soul Something I've seen you post about a good bit. You did it like back in Scarlet and Violet's hype cycle, and you've done it again uh, like recently. Is the gold and uh, silver? Um, what would you call those? The the I guess like emblems? Emblems, yeah. The yeah. the emblems of Naranja and Uva Academy are gold and silver. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of like little nods to Johto. I mean, even the Kitakami music thing, like why is it just the Johto battle theme? Yeah. You know? Like they could have put it Kitakami is clearly connected to Sinnoh as well, but they chose the Johto one. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they could have put a Sinnoh battle theme in there or, or Sinnoh music other than, you know, the the blood moon or saluna thing but mm-hmm. i don't know that's it's interesting like that's what i'm saying like we don't really know what's happening after 2024 and i mean we don't really know what's happening in 2024 either like i'm i'm still skeptical about the whole thing i know i told um jake that unova was next for sure yeah. but i'm like <laughs> i am more you, skeptical that was true now. at the time that was true at the time yeah it was true at the time but i'm very I'm more skeptical about everything right now. I'm still not, I'm not 100% confident that... It's Schrodinger's Unova. Yeah, it's... Man, but it's like, like, what is the worst case scenario? We don't get a game that has happened. That's that's the worst. That could happen. That's the worst case scenario that we don't get anything. But also, is that going to happen? Because, like, I feel like the last... I'm still thinking about... No, because in the immortal words of Mr. Krabs, money. Money, 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 money. I'm just thinking about what he responded to you, Lumi, as well. I'm not. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm starting to feel like that was just kind of a just a fun little just bit. him saying that what he was talking about then had nothing to do with that. So he was just yeah. like, what are you talking yeah. about? Could be. Uh, I don't know. I, it, it, every time we do one of these episodes, it's so much fun. And then by the end of it, I'm just like, soul's just like, just stop getting excited. <laughs> He's called Soul because he sucks out our soul. Yes, exactly. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, no. He, I'm, this is awful. why. This is why everyone associates you with Poltergeist Soul. <laughs> no, I hate that thing. I think. Um, uh, yeah, it's not that. It's not me, bro. It's Game Freak. I don't know what to tell you. Being knowing things in advance, people think I was going to tweet this out too. Knowing things in advance, you think that it's going to be like amazing, but yeah. then you're like. That's you were just hit with the reality sooner than everyone else. Yeah, and, <laughs> That's you, all and you're the, and you'd have no one to <laughs> grieve with. <laughs> yeah, and I have I have no one to talk to about it basically. So it's just like you know, there's a lot of things sometimes. Anyway, yeah. I there is there's I don't things know. there's a lot of possibilities. Well. Yeah, like what's what's the one wild card thing that they could do? Like another DLC, <laughs> like Pokemon Z. Yeah. I really love that idea, and I'm sad that I I should have put it out earlier. But I was like. We could get a, a DLC in Unova. Yeah, we right. did. But we just I was thinking like a yeah, third yeah. DLC yeah. in Unova. <laughs> well, and then obviously the uh, the bundle kind of throws that off a little bit. One hundred percent. You think they it does? Kill. I guess I guess yeah. it kind of does. It does. I mean, I mean, I mean it not definitely impossible. puts it definitely decreases the amount yeah, of it's not odds. But... You know. Mm-hmm. I feel like other studios though will or other franchises will put out games with whatever the new like how many times have they repackaged Skyrim you know with whatever new DLC is added to it right and they sell it for whatever the amount is i don't no, know yeah. yeah it's not impossible it's not impossible yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not pr- impossible it's i just i just think that it is less likely than it was before they announced that yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense yeah i yeah i agree it's just uh i don't know i'm feeling about like DLC too like it's nice to have DLC, but you kind of like done with it at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it's still like yeah. minimal. At the end of the day, DLC is just an it's addition to game. whatever Scarlet right. Violet is, which is honestly the Kit- Kit- Kitakami really like. It helped me really appreciate Scarlet and Violet again. I think that's that's what the Switch DLC did to me too. The Sword and Shield one. Like I'm having, I, I'm I still hated it. Yeah, haven't played it in about a week, but when I was playing it, it was a ton of fun. I do keep craving to go back to shiny hunt i got another shiny mighty anna it's getting a little bit annoying how many shinies i'm getting oh boo hoo <laughs> that's that shiny charm my, my gold slippers are on too tight <laughs> but uh <laughs> but uh yeah anyways all right well what we want to do a couple couple uh housekeeping 
things right here. We want to th- shout out to our new Mythical Tier channel uh, supporter, Timothy. Out, out. Thank you so much. Woo. Thank you so much, man. Uh, and rock, of, Timothy. And of course, Jasko and Drogain. Uh, go check out the Drogain episode. You really, guys rock too. That's crazy. Honestly, I, I'm starting to like really feel the community push. Uh, I'm starting to look out into what the end or th- the duration of 2024 is going to be for the podcast, and I'm feeling really, I'm feeling really good. Uh, if you guys like this show, go support it. Patreon.com backslash. I actually don't know what our URL is. I think it's uh yeah Patreon. I don't know. I don't actually know what it is, but it's in the description. It's in- go support us, please. <laughs> really appreciate that. Um, but also I when you guys are watching this episode, uh, the the Friday after this episode comes out, right? The so next the day, day after, right? The next day, yeah. later this week, uh, I'm going to be in New York City with Birdkeeper Toby. Uh, I think True Green 7 is going to be there. Uh, Cup of Fee, The Last Shaman is going to be there. Some other people are also going to be there. I think Kayla's going to be there. Uh, we're going to be doing a... We're just going to be trying to meet some people uh, in Manhattan, in New York City. Come meet us. Um, reach out to us if you want details of the location. Um, but... I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just, every day goes by and I'm so grateful for this podcast. All the people in the community, uh, you know, Courtney's like a day one. We got to start shouting out Courtney more. She supports us on two platforms. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. But, right, uh, Courtney. Courtney. but yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think I had a couple other things that I wanted to shout out, but what do you guys I mean, to? I was just thinking about like, maybe in the future we Fire merch. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> interesting to do like, a podcast instead of like live stream because i would love to like actually interact with them yeah. as well more but i don't know maybe you guys should just leave us like comments and things that we can read and talk about on the podcast as well so that way we can like interact with your thoughts on yeah. everything in the whenever like we that. have done live streams it is always a ton of fun right mm-hmm. i think it comes down yeah. to with three people being able to synchronize our our like our schedules uh, I know I'm grateful that you guys have been able to, you know, Soul and Lumi have yeah. been able to like carve out time in their schedules to commit to this. Um, so that that's great. I know. I guess we were talking to some of the people on the Discord. Like, what is the next step for Hidden Power? Right? Like we, like you know, once, once, uh, you know, once we get through this next hype cycle and this release cycle, like there's gonna be some more time where we want to have more guests on. But also, like, what can we continue to do to, you know, give back to you guys, give back to the listeners. What do what do you guys want to see from us, right? There's we've got certain things in our pockets, certain video ideas that we're like, this is gonna be fun to do, but are you guys actually gonna like it? We don't really know, so you can always let us know. Um, also, I didn't actually mention it yet. Uh, we are creating a physical holiday uh, item, an art piece to give out. So uh, if you want, if you want to be a part of that, if you want to receive that around the holidays, uh, become a, a Patreon or a channel member. That's just another plug. We need a buy date, though. Yeah, like, I think uh, it's going to be end of... It's probably going to be, I would say, by the end of November. Just to be okay. safe. Just to be safe. Uh, but, you, yeah. And if you do join, send us your uh, your actual location so we can... You know, your mailing address. Yeah, that, that's a good point, Soul. I think live streams are a lot of fun. I mean, we're just talking now, but... Like, we have an email. If you guys want to be part of the show, there's a lot... We get a lot of emails and a lot of messages saying, Can I be on the show? And my favorite podcasts do allow space for, you know, Patreon supporters, etc. And really just anyone. You don't even need to support. But they allow a call-in functionality, right? When they're doing a live show, call in, give us your thoughts. That might be a little bit difficult for us to do live call-ins. But what you can do is you can take a voice recording of yourself and email it to us, right? And we would happily listen to it on the show. Um, Yeah, just in the spirit of what Soul was saying. Let us know what you want. Let us know how we can best give back to you guys. Yeah, but uh, thank you guys so much for listening. This was a good episode. I'm excited to... Yeah, oh, oh I didn't even say it. Like I said, I'm going to be in New York. We're going to be recording some episodes with Birdkeeper Toby. Super excited about those episodes. They're going to be live in the flesh. Really excited. Really excited. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Check it out. I can't wait for you guys to check those out. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. See ya. Peace.